What's up, my powerful and beautiful Scorpios? Welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, this is going to be a full moon reading. This is something new that I'm trying out, okay? So, if something resonates with you guys, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates. Also, you guys, if you are familiar with your birth chart, you know, kind of get it out. Because this astrology that we're going to be pulling from could be talking about different planets or that the moon could be in one of your houses. And you want to know, you know, how that resonates with you guys, okay? So, let's get into this reading. And before I start this reading, Scorpio, I'm sorry. I got a little bit of information I want to share with you about this full moon. It ain't going to be too long. And then we're going to get into this reading, okay? So, this full moon is going to be in Sagittarius, which is also known as the Strawberry Moon. This is the second super moon we've experienced so far this year, and this is the last full moon of the spring before the summer solstice. This moon is about learning how to be more free-spirited and expanding your heart and mind. This is a great time for manifesting, so if you guys are into the moon cycles, if you follow the moon cycles, and even if you're not familiar with manifestations, you follow the moon cycles on the full moons, you write down your intentions, whatever you want to put out there into the universe, and then if you guys have heard that song by Bruno Mars, Talking to the Moon, that's exactly what you do. I write down what I want to manifest, and I just go out there, I face the moon, and I set my intentions out there into the universe, okay? So especially during this time, if you're holding on to heavy emotions from your past or previous relationships, manifest and ask to release that energy. Full moons are a time to release no, what no longer serves you. Let me say that again. Full moons are a time to release what no longer serves you. Since this full moon is in Sagittarius and it's Gemini season, this is a powerful time to manifest abundance, okay? If you feel like things have been lacking in your life, whether it's material, spiritual wealth, love, whatever it is, write that down, go out there, and manifest that into the universe. If you've been in a house like I have, Scorpio, because I've been in straight harmony mode, this is a time to get out there, have fun, explore, socialize, and allow yourself to be more open to receive abundance. So I'm going to tell you now, Scorpios, you guys may get a bonus video because, you know, I'm a Scorpio, so I love doing Scorpio readings, but I don't know, I just feel like I need to give you guys a bonus. So let's start with this moon out today. What type of energy is around my Scorpios doing this full moon spirit? All right, you guys. So we have, it's time to take action. So Scorpio, there could be something in your life that maybe you kind of been pumping the brakes on. You haven't moved forward, whether this could be in your career, job, love, whatever it is. But Spirit is saying, during this full moon in Sagittarius, it is time to take action in some aspects of your life. You guys know exactly what it is. Well, I'm going to take this because it flipped out. And I feel like a new start is coming. So for a lot of you guys, you possibly have ended a lot of things in your life. Because you know once you close the door, once you end some things, they just create opportunities and new doors to open. So you have a new start is coming with this new moon. So set your intentions now, Scorpio, for what you want so that you can have this new start that you possibly manifest or want to manifest. What message do you have? You and your loved ones are safe with this new moon in Cancer. So, Scorpio, if you kind of been feeling like, you know, you just want to make sure that everything that you're doing, that you provide, you're providing stability and security for you and your loved ones. I know I always manifest, you know, safety for me, my kids, my family, you know. So, Spirit is saying, like, with the 444 energy, you are protected, you are safe with this new moon in Cancer. All right, give me one more card for my Scorpio. What type of energy is around them doing this full moon? Then we have communication is key with this new moon in Gemini. So I feel like during this new moon, Scorpio, there is someone that you're wanting to talk to. You're needing to communicate, maybe express yourself, get some things off your chest. This is a great time to manifest that right now, Scorpio. Manifest may able to, you know, if it's the ex or whomever it is, just someone that you want to express yourself and tell this person how you really feel. Communication is going to be key. Or I feel like there could be someone that could be coming in to talk or something. And it's like how you guys communicate or how you communicate and express yourself is going to be key to whether possibly a situation is like resolved, okay? All right, Scorpio. Type of energies around my Scorpios when it's new moon spirit. All right, so we have Mars, and you know, you guys, Mars and Pluto rules Scorpio here. So we talked about here, it's time to take action. I act. 
Okay, so there's something that you guys need to take some type of action in with this new moons and Aries. I know with me, I'm a square of new moons. New moon and Aries. I'm a Scorpio and the Aries rising. So, you know, I resonate with Scorpio readings, with Aries readings. Something could be going on with some planet in Leo. So check, check your chart and see, you know, what planet here or what house Leo falls under here. Or what Leo is in your Mars or something. Then we have Capricorn energy. So check and see, like I said, what um, house or something is Capricorn is in. Alright, messages for my Scorpio spirit. Wow, y'all getting a lot of planets here. Okay, so we have Juno. This talks about represents re meaningful relationships. In your chart, this represents your desires in a relationship. So right now, Juno could be either your Leo or your Capricorn. This is talking about what type of a relationship, like what does a real meaningful relationship feel like to you guys, okay? So that could be your energy. Maybe you're in this loving energy. You're feeling a lot of love at this time. You know, so a new star can be coming in relationships, but it's like you're, you're imagining what a desirable relationship means to you. What message do you have, my Scorpios? Yeah, I think I got to do another video here. What message do you have, my Scorpio spirit? Okay, so we have the ninth house here, which is ruled by Jupiter and Sagittarius. And we know Jupiter is the lucky planet, you guys. So this talks about how you're learning. So some of you guys could be expanding your way or you're getting a higher education. This talks about philosophy and um, personal beliefs, religion. Maybe you're seeking the meaning of life during this energy. It's like you're seeking the truth. You want it to be free. You want to gain more wisdom, and you want to explore and travel. Remember I talked about earlier, you know, this is the time to get out the house and just, you know, explore life. So Leo and Capricorn could be conjuncting with something, but conjunction means when two powerful planets blend, individual planets seem to lose their individuality, even taking on the other characteristics. So this could be a time of confusion. So if these two planets are conjuncting with anything in your chart, this could be a time of confusion for you. But it's talking about, you know, a conjunction is, it's like, you know, you have two planets and then you have one in the middle. And it's like, those other planets are so strong that the other planet is going to start to take on the characteristic of those under, other two planets that's surrounding them, okay? So this could be a time to check your court chart. I'm going to leave those up here right quick so you guys can see that. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have. I'm going to pull and do another reading for you guys. So stay blessed, Scorpio. Love you guys.